Hello everybody, welcome back to Dreadfully Dainty. Let's do some Halloween nails. Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome back. I am back, and it's so good to be back. <laughs> Today, let's do some Halloween nails. Happy Halloween. It is October 31st. Let's get started. So I wanted to share these little skelly bone nails that I absolutely love and wish I could never take off. So let's do some press-ons. So to prep my press-on nails, I like to stick them on their stands just using um, the sticky tabs. So we're going to do that. We're going to prep our nail stands. I just like to cut these in half, especially the big ones like the thumb, the middle finger. And just kind of makes it stretch a little bit more since they're so slim. All right, peel that guy off there. And there you have it. So let's finish all these up. And then we'll get our press-ons stuck on their little nail stands. Well, guys, so where have I been? It has been a while I know, I know, I took a little break because I started my own nail business, I guess you'd say. Nail accessories, more like it. Um, I now sell um, water slide nail decals and some extra accessories, some resin items. Uh, if you'd like to check out my nail shop, I'll leave the link down below. But yeah, so that's where I've been. It's been a crazy little ride. Took a few months off, kind of needed that, you know, all around. We killed it last year. Um, you know, we went hard. And this year, yeah, we're just going to get back to doing some nail art, um, some more nail tutorials. But yes, I am back, you guys. And I am so excited. I've missed you guys. All right, so let's get back into this nail video. We are putting our press ons on our nail stands by Sticky Tab. I like this better than the putty. The putty kind of gets messy, just in my opinion. I mean, to each their own. But okay, so let's start a little bone nails. We're going to paint all four of these nails with a black UV gel polish. All right, and a few other items that we are going to need to complete this set today is a white UV gel polish, matte no wipe top coat UV gel polish, a nail dotting tool. Um, I'm going for like the smaller, the smaller dots and our light bright by Dipomania. It is a white glow dip powder. Okay, so we are going to give our little press-ons here two full cured thin layers of black gel polish. Okay, we want to lay our polish very thin. Um, this reduces wrinkling and having uncured gel polish underneath there. If we laid it really, really thick, you could possibly not cure it all the way. And it could wrinkle on you. And it just doesn't look very pretty. So two thin, fully cured coats of gel polish. All right, now that we have our two coats fully cured, we're going to go in and wipe off that tacky layer from the black. Get those bad boys all nice and clean. You can either do this with rubbing alcohol or today I'm using Young Nails Swipe Solution. Okay, and since we're going in with a matte top coat to prevent peeling, I'm going to lay down a base coat of UV gel polish just so we can get that mat to really stick down because if we were to lay this mat on top and say we were actually wearing these nails we could probably possibly they're not going to stick together and bond so you'll have a you know probably a good chance of them peeling the mat peeling away from the shiny part all right so we gave that base coat a full cure now it's time to go in with our matte UV top coat and we are also going to put this down and give it a full cure as well.
All right, now that our mat is fully cured, gosh, is there anything better than a matte black nail? Oh, it's just gorgeous on its own. I love that. Okay, so now it is time to go in with our white gel polish. Now it's time for our nail art. So this is where we're going to get out our dotting tool. We're going to lay some of this white gel polish on a nail art palette. Just put you a good little amount on there. All right, and I'm going to show you how easy it is to do these little bones. All right, so we're going to use the very small dot on our dotting tool. And I'm going to put two dots up top. Four dots just above the middle of the nail. And four dots towards the tip of the nail. Like so. And it's okay if they're not perfectly center. It's totally okay. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to take our little thin nail art brush. Load it up with some gel polish. And fill in our little dots. So I like to curve my little line towards the center. Or like towards the middle. Curve it. And then do a tiny curve inward at those little dots. Just to kind of replicate, you know, like what a bone would look like. Like a dog bone. And I like, okay, so you have probably seen these bone nails all over. They were very trendy last year. Um, and I think they're kind of trending again this year, but, um, you know, there's different people like different versions of them. Me, I like my bones to be very thin. So of course you can totally like widen these bones, make them, you know, as thin or as thick as you would like. Um, but for me, in my personal opinion, I love the skinnier look on the bones. I don't know. It just kind of makes like the stiletto nail really pop. Um, you know, when you look at the really thick bones, I just kind of feel like they look a little bit off. But hey, to each their own. However you like your bones is okay with me. But see, look at there. All right. So once we get our little bones all filled in, we're going to give those a full cure. And continue rocking on with our next little nails. Okay, so two dots at the top again. Four dots kind of towards the middle. You know, kind of eyeball it. And then four dots towards the tip. And it is easy as that, guys. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go back in, fill in my little bones. Okay, get them as bony looking as we can. The creepier, the better. So I say, hey, if it's not perfect and they're not straight and they're kind of crooked, you know, they're kind of off. That's okay because no bone is perfectly shaped, right? I love it. Okay, so we're going to finish up these. I'm going to show you in real time how I'm doing this, and then we're going to speed her up just a tad. All right, I'll be back. Okay, so we've done all of our four little bones here. Now it is time for our second coat. Now this is where we're going to sugar over or sprinkle over our white glow dip powder. Okay, so we're going to go in right on top of that first coat of our bones. Fill them back in. I just kind of go on the insides of the lines. Um, give them all, you know, some white gel polish. And then we are going to sprinkle over that dip powder until it is fully soaked up that gel. Okay. All right, so just sprinkle over that dip powder. I like to let it set for a second. Let all that gel polish soak up that powder. 
give it a look over. And if it's completely matte, you're good to go. You can go ahead and stick it in the lamp and give it a full cure. Or if there are still some wet spots, um, then go back over it with a powder. All right, so fully cure that for a good 60 seconds. And let's move on and continue. All right, so that was our last nail on our first round. Now it's time to do our second and final round. So give everything a good dusting. Dust all that powder off. It dusts off real easy. And then we're going to do the exact same thing one more time. And then we're done. And that is, like, that's it. Isn't that crazy? All right, so let's just cover up that sugared nail. It's going to be kind of a rough texture. Just get that polished all in those little bumpy crevices. Okay, fill it all in with a gel polish and we're going to pour over one more last round of that dip powder. And again, we're going to make sure that our gel polish is really soaking up all that powder. Okay, no, we don't need no wet spots showing. It should be fully like a matte look. All right, and once we're happy with that, we are going to give everything a full cure one last time. All right, and so that's it. I didn't feel like you guys needed to watch all that again. <laughs> So all four nails, second round, sprinkled over the dip powder. Now we're dusting everything off, getting our surface all nice and clean. And that's it. Um, our last thing that we are going to do, though, just to make sure that all that white dip powder is off of there, is I'm going to go back in with my swipe solution from Young Nails, or you can use rubbing alcohol. And yeah, we're going to clean the nail with a lint-free wipe and just get it all rubbed down nice and clean. And that is it. And then I will show you that cool glow effect. All right, guys, and that is it. That's what, like, that's how I did my little Manny that I'm wearing here. What do you think? Did you like this little bone nail art trend? I hope you do try it out next year. Or if you're like me and you like to wear spooky nails all year round, please give them a try. Tag me in it. I would love to see. All right, so let's see that cool glow effect. And I just want to tell everybody, happy Halloween. How cool is that? Y'all have fun tonight. Be safe out there if you were taking the kiddos trick-or-treating. I hope y'all enjoy. Eat lots of candy. <laughs> Let the kiddos have some candy and enjoy. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.